क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम गेट ट्वेंटी फोर्टीन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग पेपर सेट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सेवन एंड ऑफसेट स्लाइडर क्रैंक मैकेनिज्म इज शोन इन द फिगर एट एन इंस्टेंट कन्वेंशनली द क्विक रिटर्न रेशियो क्यू आर आर इज कंसिडर टू बी ग्रेटर देन वन वैल्यू ऑफ क्यू आर आर इज डैश नाउ इन दिस फिगर दिस सर्कल शोज द मोशन ऑफ द क्रैंक दिस इज द क्रैंक द स्मॉलर वन विथ ट्वेंटी मिलीमीटर्स लेंथ it shows the motion of the crank as it rotates when the crank rotates this link of the slider with the end being rested over here will move linearly in either the backward or the forward position as per the rotation of the crank so we'll show the extreme backward position and the extreme forward position of this slider depending upon the crank movement radius of this circle is nothing but the length of crank r Let's write R is twenty millimeters. Length of the slider L is given to be forty millimeters. Now, when the crank rotates at a certain position, the slider reaches its rightmost extreme position, which is shown in red color. At this point, this red line is nothing but length of the crank plus length of the slider because the two are collinear. Also. when the slider reaches its left extreme position again the crank and the slider are collinear and the length of this particular line total from here to here is nothing but r plus length of the crank minus r now in this leftmost position the slider is overlapping the crank therefore this length from this point to the slider is nothing but length of the slider minus length of the crank l minus r because r is overlapping now we are being asked to find out the quick return ratio qrr which is given by beta by alpha where beta is nothing but this angle in the rightmost position is beta and when the slider again goes in the rightmost position this angle is alpha now we can clearly see beta plus alpha completes the circle therefore we have our one result beta plus alpha is equal to 360 degrees also yellow is a straight line that means this angle is 180 and if we let this smaller angle between the yellow and red color lines as theta we have 180 plus theta is nothing but beta so we have beta as 180 plus theta theta being the angle between the red and the yellow lines divided by alpha is nothing but 180 the angle of this straight line minus this theta so we have alpha is 180 minus theta now our job is to find out theta if we find theta we will be able to find out the quick return ratio now in order to find theta we'll have to first find out the angle made by the yellow line with the base line let that be phi1 and the angle made by the red line with the base line let that be phi2 theta is nothing but angle phi1 minus angle phi2 so theta is equal to phi1 minus phi2 phi1 can be found out using this triangle and phi2 can be found found out using this bigger triangle this one if we extend it till here we have the height 10 mm and the hypotenuse also in this triangle also we have the yellow color hypotenuse and the height as 10 mm so let's find out so we'll name this point as o this as the left extreme position l and this as the right extreme position r this point b m and this point b n so we have in triangle ONL sin phi one in triangle ONL the smaller triangle sin phi one is nothing but opposite side upon hypotenuse which is nothing but ten millimeters upon forty minus twenty millimeters which is equal to ten by twenty that is one by two this gives us phi one as thirty degrees because sin inverse one by two is thirty second thing in triangle OMR this bigger triangle omr we have sin phi 2 is equal to again 
opposite side 10 millimeters divided by the hypotenuse which is nothing but 40 plus 20. So we have this as 1 by 6 and this gives us phi 2 to be 9.594 degrees because sine inverse 1 by 6 is this value. Now let's put these values of phi 1 and phi 2 here and find out theta. Theta is nothing but 30 minus 9.594 which is 20.4 degrees. We have theta now. Final step, put theta here and find out the QRR. Quick return ratio is equal to 180 plus 20.4 divided by 180 minus 20.4 which is equal to 200.4 divided by 159.6 which gives us value of quick return ratio as 1.2556. Let's go back and fill in the answer. Value of QRR is 1.2556. Can be rounded off and written as 1.256. To learn more about slider crank mechanism, you can refer to the NPTEL video module 4 lecture 1 balancing of single slider machines from the course lecture series on dynamics of machines by professor Amitabh Ghosh. He is from department of mechanical engineering IIT Kanpur. I hope the solution will help you clear your doubt. Thank you.